Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we are going to try something new. So I've been kind of fooling around watching some videos from other people. And one lady, I can't remember her name. I will put it in the description. So if you want to check her out, you can. But she was transferring um, wrapping paper onto Palmer clay. And I'm going to kind of try to imitate that. Now she did earrings and I want to make um, coasters. And I thought... If I could do it double-sided, it would be a lot of fun. So I have a lot of scrap clay here. And supposedly, I should be able to use scrap clay because the only thing that will show up is the wrapping paper. So we will see if this experiment's really going to work. I'm going to take my scrap clay and I'm going to roll it out and blend it all nicely together onto my thickest setting on my pasta machine. Okay, so I have a nice amount rolled out. And I'm, doing, I'm going to use my um, round cutter. And I'm just going to do two of them and see if it works out. I just thought this would make such a fantastic gift if it does. And what a perfect way to use up your scrap clay. So what she seemed to do is she kind of picked out what she wanted to do. Cut our pieces out. I'm going to start with this side first. And let me smooth out my edges. And then she laid this down. I'm going to make sure I get that little snowman because he is just adorable. And if this works... I'm gonna be super excited. So then she just used hand sanitizer and um, she just kind of rubbed it all over. And she took more time on it, but I'm thinking as long as it seeps through, it should be okay. So I'm assuming that should be plenty. I'm going to let that dry because I want to do the back side. She only did one side, but I am super excited about doing two sides and I'm hoping that this will be successful. So we will see. Okay. And the other one that I am going to do is these little cars because, or these little trucks. How cute are these? My daughter picked out this wrapping paper and I thought it was so adorable. So I just want to cut off as much as I can because I don't want a bunch of it sticking out. Let's see, about right there. Okay. And you can see through the wrapping paper for the most part when you're sticking it on. If you hold it at an angle, the light should um, shine through it. And she also used like um, like a face pad to blend it in. But I'm all about trying to make things as easy and quick as possible. So while I am trying this to see if it works, I'm going to try it a different way than she did it. Because like I said, I'm all about making things as easy as possible. And I am going to do just one more little thing just to make sure that it all seeped through. And I am rubbing it in, but I'm not pushing down hard on my clay. Just to let you know, I'm not mushing the clay. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. And then when it dries, 
I'm going to flip it over and we will do the other side. All right, so these seem to be fairly dry. I did put them on my mat here so I could peel them off easily. And now I'm just going to flip them. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did the first time. And then I'm just going to put this right in the oven, right on this mat, so I don't have to lift it again. Now, I'm going to remember we want to do the opposite on these. So I want to do one side with the dog, one side with the snowman. And I pre cut these out to make sure that I'm getting exactly what I want. And then I'm going to let this all dry. And after it dries, I'm going to put it in my oven at 275 for a half hour. So this took about 10 minutes total to dry. Um, so I'm going to wait the 10 minutes. And I'm not sure if it's necessary to let it dry completely before you put it in the oven. But that's what I'm going to do. And then I will check my oven throughout the process just to make sure that the paper doesn't start on, start on fire. Um, hers did not, but I will be checking it, you know, and just to be safe. I don't want to start my house on fire um, for some coasters. So if you're doing this process as well, make sure you check your piece throughout the bacon time, um, just to, for safety reasons. And I feel like that should be plenty. All right, so I'm gonna make sure there's no air pockets. I have a couple air pockets here, so I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit better. Um, so once you make sure your air pockets are out, if you have any, let it dry. And then we're going to place it in the oven. I have some air pockets right here. I'm going to push those air pockets out to make sure that this shows up as nice as possible. Since I'm using scrap clay, I don't want anything but this paper to show. So making sure all the air pockets are out are important to me. All right, I think I got all my air pockets out of this one. I did not see any in this one. So I'm gonna let this dry for 10 minutes, put it in the oven, half hour, and then we'll come back and see if it works. Here are my pieces, they're out of the oven. And the next thing that we are gonna do is just put them in a little bit of water. It's supposed to make the um, paper come off much easier. And it doesn't seem like you need to really overly soak them. So let's see how well this works. Hers seem to come off much, much easier. I don't know, guys. Let's see if I could take this little section. Off. It seems like it has like the paper stuck to it. So let's see if we can rub some of that off. Ooh, okay. So I think we're gonna have to soak it a little bit longer than what she showed. So I'm gonna let that just soak in there for a few minutes. We'll let that one soak as well. And I'm gonna just keep it under the water and rub my finger across to get all that extra paper off. 
because it seems like the actual paper is what is sticking to the clay. See underneath it, it looks beautiful underneath. And I love the thought that you could do this and it actually like glues, not glues, but like almost transfers the image permanently on here because I'm really rubbing this. And the only thing that's coming off is the paper. So I am going to say for what um, I actually, after I put this in the oven, I finished watching her video completely. And I did not do that prior. Um, I have a bad habit of not watching videos 100%. I watch up until um, I see the part that I want. And then I kind of bypass everything else. But I wanted to see how she finished them off. And <clears throat> she did use a darker clay. And the darker clay did not work well. So if you're going to use scrap like I did, make sure you're using a light color scrap like the white. Um, or like a light gray. Don't use like the muddy or black because your imprint doesn't show up as nice it seems. Look how beautiful that's coming out. And you can, you can feel where the paper is left on by just rubbing your hand. So I would just keep rubbing on um, the coaster and see how much paper just continues coming off until it's got like a nice smooth feel to it. Because down here it's beautifully smooth, but up here I can still feel like some of the paper there. Let's try this side. So you can see what is left on with the paper. Can you see how it's all dirty looking? That's actually the paper that's still stuck to the clay. You know what I just noticed? <laughs> Don't do things with letters because look it, it's backwards. That's so funny. I wish I would have saw that ahead of time, but I was not paying attention to the words being imprinted backwards. So if you're gonna do it, don't use anything with words. Um, they will be backwards. Hers seemed to like peel right off. So I don't know if she had like a, like a thicker um, paper, like a wrapping paper. I just bought this from the dollar store. Um, so I'm not sure if it's like the type that you use that hers just seemed to peel right up. But I really want to kind of just play around and show you guys um, each step of how I would do it and kind of give you an idea of what she did. But um, sometimes the videos don't show you exactly what happens. And um, everybody's um, experiments are different. So I really want to just show you mine and but yeah i mean look how beautiful i really like the snowman one that came out gorgeous so i'm going to take my dry towel i'm just going to dry it and look how beautiful that came out so i wonder if i left it on much much longer how deep the colors would end up being. So I may do that the next time, just kind of like leave it on maybe overnight and see if that would make a difference in the ink. But I'll tell you, um, the paper does not come off very easy. Um, you do have to spend time rubbing it and I'm thinking it's a shame that it has the paper because I would do this under my sink, but I don't want all that paper down my sink. So I'll just do it this way. But if it wasn't, um, if I didn't worry about putting stuff um, in my pipes and stuff, I probably just do like a quick run by a run, run over with the water and I feel like it would come off easier. But 
We're going to do it this way. The results are beautiful. I am going to put resin over these only because I am going to use them as coasters. And I feel like it'll give it a little bit extra protection. Not that um, cups or something would really destroy it. I don't think, I mean, considering that I'm leaving it in water now. But it gives it, resin just gives everything such a beautiful shine. And it makes it a little bit more sturdier, I think. I mean, these are bendable. They're not going to break. I mean, I'm not overly concerned about that. I'm more for the shine and just the globe look. Because this reminds me of like a snow globe. So I feel like if I put the resin on. So one side will have resin. One side I'm just going to maybe gloss with the Sculpey gloss. I think that's what I'll end up doing after I'm done with all this. All right. So that feels pretty good to me. Now let me start playing around with this. This, I got most of it off. There, that actually, that one came off super easy. But you can see the red's not as dark. So I really wonder if I leave it on longer, um, how it would show up. All right, so I want to see if these look any different if we put resin or Sculpey gloss on them. I mean, because you can see it's kind of like faded. So I want to see how much of a difference this is going to make. These are my trial pieces, so if they mess up, I'm okay with that. But it is very beautiful. I will say that. They are very, very pretty. Oops. So I'm just going to brush a thin coat on. Since they are like my trials, I don't want to waste a lot of resin on them. But I want to see how much brighter the color shows up. So it definitely brings the color back out. Makes it very nice. And if I was going to make this for like a permanent thing, I would put the resin on a little bit thicker and then I would put glitter all over these snowmen. Because I think that would look just absolutely gorgeous. So I think I am going to try this one more time. And I'm going to leave my um, paper on. I would say, you know what? I'm going to do a set tonight. And I'm just going to leave it on overnight. And I'm going to see if that makes a difference. And then I will show the results of that at the end of my video. So this way you guys can really see the difference. And see if that makes any change in it. So let me just lift this up. I'm going to show you. See how dull that one is? And how much brighter with the resin on? So you need something glossy to make it pop through. That's definitely a must, I think. And I'm going to resin this. Now, I don't know how, but for some reason I have like two dogs in here. I don't remember there being two dogs in the photo. But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Let me see. Um, I'm very curious. I think there was only one dog in there, but I'm not sure. But I am going to... Let me see. I want to get my gloss. I'm going to get my Sculpey gloss because I'm not going to resin both of these. I just, like I said, these are samples. And I just want to see if the gloss will show up as nice as the resin. Let me try it on this side. I 
So it does make it brighter. And I could tell on this side more so than this. This almost reminds me of like an old newspaper. You know those, you know those coasters that are like made out of cardboard? That's what this reminds me of. It really does. That reminds me of the old cardboard coasters that I had growing up. But um yeah, it 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 works out pretty well whether you use the Sculpey or the resin. I'm going to make a final decision once this is completely dried to see um, which one I would like prefer better I'm gonna, uh, once that's out of the um, UV light. But I'm going to air dry this with my... Um, I'm, I'm drawing blanks here, guys. Um, my blow dryer. I'm going to do that quick. And this is dry. Now, I will say... I must not have gotten all the paper off the gray because this, all this, everything that's white dried super smooth. And here it's bumpy. So I wonder if the, I left paper on there. I mean, it's really cool. I do like it like that, to be quite honest, because it kind of gives it, oops, gives it that texture look to it. So that is pretty nice. Um,. But if I have to choose, I'm going to go with the resin. I just think it's shinier. It's prettier. Um, but, all right. So now I am going to roll out my scrap again. I'm going to try that experiment that I was talking about, leaving it on overnight. And then tomorrow I will take it off. I will bake it and we'll see how that turns out. And then I will show you at the end of this video. All right, guys, so it's been 24 hours, and I'm going to show you the results of the different things that I tried. So this was the original one, and it came out really nice. This was just putting the satin glaze on, which once it's fully dry, does not look terrible, but I do still prefer the UV look. Um, I went a little bit different through the experiment, and so these... I ended up leaving on for about, I would say, 10 to 12 hours, put them in the oven. I baked them for a full hour, thinking maybe they actually had to be baked on. And I did the same process I did with these, and it actually looks a lot worse. Um, it just, it looks terrible. Most of the black came off, so I think having the hand sanitizer, instead of it imprinting it onto the clay, actually took most of the color off. These two, so I decided instead of doing the dog one, since everything was backwards, just in case it worked, I went with like a brighter uh, wrapping paper that I had. And I scrubbed these to make sure all the old paper was off. I soaked them in water for probably about 10 to 15 minutes because the paper was just giving me such a hard time. This one and this one are the same. What I did different was this, I did the hand sanitizer, this I did the nail polish remover. And you can see the nail polish remover actually took most of the color off completely, which I don't understand why, because everything that I see on YouTube with the tutorials, they all say it works, but for me, it's it's just not working. And this one, I did the nail polish remover as well. And I don't use nail polish remover on this type of wrapping paper. The only thing, the only thing I could think of that she did different was use a really good quality um, wrapping paper, something like Hallmark or you know the really thick, good, expensive wrapping paper dollar tree wrapping paper is not going to work it i mean i tried multiple things i even tried putting gold marker on here afterwards to see if it would look nice and it just it looks terrible um it rubs right off i to me this is a complete fail if you don't leave it on overnight these are all going to be trash if you want to do it the way I did it the first time, you'll get these beautiful ones here. They're not as, um, I would say hers look so crisp 
and I don't know why besides the wrapping paper having to be different. It's the only thing I could think of, but I may end up trying to see if I could find a good wrapping paper and see if that makes a difference. But for Dollar Tree wrapping paper or a cheaper, cheaper wrapping paper, um, you still get a beautiful look. The first way worked out perfectly fine. Don't use dark colors because dark colors obviously are very faded. And don't use anything with letters because they will read backwards. So I hope that you guys enjoyed experimenting with me, seeing what the results were, and finding out if this would be a um, fail or a not fail, um, or a success, I should say. So I would say first time around, successful for the most part. Um, second time around, total fail. I... <laughs> wasted a lot of my um, scrap clay but that's okay it's scrap clay I'm okay with wasting it but I think I may attempt to do the little snowman again um, but I I'm not sure I'm not sure if this is something that I necessarily need um, we'll, we'll find out so or I'll find out I don't know but yeah I think these are pretty cute I may end up doing another one. I think they would make cute gifts if I end up doing both sides like this and then edge off my sides, put some snowflake. Oh yeah, I think I might try something. Um, the more I'm looking at this little snowman, I love this wrapping paper and this is not too shabby. So I'm thinking if I do it exactly the way I did it the first time um, and then do the resin, and then maybe put some of my fake snowflakes on here, but to put the resin on a little bit thicker, but not too thick because you want it to remain, you know, usable. Um, but we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed creating along with me or experimenting, I should say, along with me. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to see more experiments, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.